Okay, here we go. You can start to see the blood. Kind of feels like I'm giving birth right now. Yeah. This is, by the way, a very healthy looking placenta. A placenta is an organ that feeds a baby during pregnancy. And apparently some moms are really into consuming the placenta after giving birth for the health benefits which are supposed to include balancing hormones, alleviating postpartum depression, and increasing milk production. Placenta eating has been a part of traditional Chinese medicine for centuries, but the practice is fairly new to the U.S. and has stirred up some controversy. There's this thing where people are eating their placentas, women are eating oh, their yeah. placentas. And I say go for it. You know, at the end of the day, it's your placenta, and you can do with it what you want. I'm about to go talk to Yehudi Shivoni, who is a doula that also does placenta encapsulation. And she has a fresh placenta for us. Hey, Hi. come on in. Um, so, placenta encapsulation. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Well, sending encapsulation is essentially the process of dehydrating, um, grinding, and then putting the placenta into pills. So kind of explaining what I've done before you got here. Um, I made sure to sanitize everything. I actually first clean everything with bleach and I do, I kind of line the actual sink mm -hmm. for your protection and for all the inhabitants of my house as well. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put on some gloves. Yehudet, or Yomi, is a doula meaning she provides assistance and emotional support to pregnant women. Placenta encapsulation is just one of the services she provides. How did you get into this? For me, it really started with my own birth experience. Um, I had heard about placenta encapsulation and my thoughts were kind of like, cannibalism, ew, that's scary. Um, but when I was pregnant with twins, actually, I started to do a lot more research and I figured like the worst they could do is not work and maybe it could even help me. So this is the placenta. Okay, here we go. You can start to see the blood. The minute I got the placenta pills, um, and started taking them, I felt so much energy. I felt like I just got a lot healthier and healed a lot quicker. You can see this guy here is a sack. Yeah, there was a baby in there. I want to try to do a placenta print, which um, is a piece of art made by your placenta. Um, and then a lot of moms actually put it up in the baby room. Um, <laughs> really up to you, definitely not um, necessary for the process. So the next thing I want to do is actually wash it. See that? Isn't oh, it's that gorgeous. Clear. Yeah, isn't it gorgeous? Oh. Do you have to be certified? Like how? how like it's what a great sort question. of qualifications do you have to do this? Right. So technically, there is no like national board of placenta encapsulation. What I am certified, which I think is actually important, is OSHA laws, which is how you handle food um, for public consumption. I can't smell the placenta. Thing. No, because it's not, it's just not, it's not cooked yet. So we are ready. Look at that beautiful thing. Now we'll come back here in like 20 or 30 minutes um, once it's thoroughly steamed through. The placenta is steaming. It really looks like a brain. It's pretty cool. It's not as gross as I thought it was going to be. I was <laughs> nervous that I was going to have a visceral reaction, but it's really kind of normal. <laughs> Wow. Now you can smell it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but liver, right? It just mm -hmm. smells like liver. <laughs> After the placenta was steamed, Yehudet sliced it into bite sized morsels and put them in the dehydrator. In 24 hours, they'd be ready to be ground up into pills. But I want to talk to a doctor about this. So and I'm about to talk to Dr. Keisha Gaither and get her opinion. Have there been any medical studies about the health benefits of consuming placenta? There have been no studies which say that it is beneficial to eat the placenta. A lot of what we're hearing in the media is basically anecdotal. Have you ever had any patients that express interest in consuming their placentas? Actually, yes. Certainly before anybody takes their placenta, they, they kind of get the talk from me. And the talk is this. There are certain infections which women can have which would not be a good idea for you to eat the placenta should the woman have it. Then there's also the risk of contamination. Now keep in mind when, when you are in labor and you're pushing, a lot of things come out besides the baby. So <laughs> you have to, I mean, it, it gets contaminated with, you know, bodily fluid. So that's... Those are things but that you have to But if you washed consider. it, would it be okay? 
There's yeah. still there's still contamination there. It's still risky. Yeah, okay. it's, it's still risky. So there are some risks to eating placenta, which makes sense since it's a body part. I wondered to what extent the effects people reported were caused by the actual properties of the placenta and how much of what they experienced was just a placebo effect. So it's been 24 hours and I'm gonna go check back in with Yomi and see what she does with the dried placenta. Okay, so this is the beautiful dried placenta. Whoa. Kinda looks like beef jerky. Yeah. <laughs> Yum. So basically I use the KitchenAid grinder This is the missing link. Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> I feel like a lot of times I hear people say like, well, maybe it's just in your brain. And for that, I would say, yes, and so is reality. Mm -hmm. And so are all the chemicals. <laughs> yeah. Everything is actually in your brain. I would say that there isn't like a huge section of the NIH that's really interested in placenta encapsulation. So I think that the most important factor is the anecdotal stories that the women themselves, they're the ones that are telling us how amazing it is and how much it works. And I kind of feel like there should be a little bit more weight put on what moms say. So you can see these are her placenta prints and placenta. <laughs> placenta. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> the whole placenta process is interesting. It does have an interesting odor that uh, can be kind of intense, but I think it's really cool that it could help moms with post-birthing issues. I just haven't like thought much about what I would do as a mom, so this is an option. I could give Yomi a call, watch her do it to my own placenta. <laughs> Ew. 